What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And today, I want to um, revisit the Vegeta Gravity Room thing because there's something that I've missed. I don't know if you missed it, but I'm going to be real and say that I've missed it. That shed some more light on, on the whole Gravity Room thing. Let's roll the intro. Alright, so I went back and watched the Vegeta Batman gameplay and stuff. And this is the one um, from the Tokyo Game Show. And this one is interesting because this is Saiyan Legends channel. Um, in case y'all was wondering where this particular gameplay comes from. You can type in Vegeta Batman gameplay and click on Saiyan Legends. Bam. So this right here is actually talking about the... Uh, gravity room or the training room that's what they call it you don't call it the gravity room they call it the uh, they call it the training room and that's what this one right there is talking about and it's very interesting because I don't see like to me in order for them to have a very proper um, a very proper mission for this you know what I'm saying? It has to be something of importance. And let's see here. I'm just trying to get it into in the English, guys. And that ain't working. That ain't going. Um, but I was sitting here thinking, like, man, they put this in a very prominent mission. Like, um, and it says something like you can control the the something that the training room. If any, I mean, it, it, the translation is not very good. It's it's asking about the training room, but that's that's what that's what he's talking about in this. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to get. It. it says something to the effect of like you can control the legal power that the guy has been studied the training room if you have any, like, he's wanting he's wanting to. To get into the training room. That's, I mean, that's what Vegeta's. Th this is the start of that particular quest. And even the guys in the background, there, they are talking about the. Uh, they're talking about the training room. And here he's with Doctor Briefs, um, and he asked him about it as well. Uh, looking at the translation for that. Uh, what is your training room has been asked before it, i mean like it's weird english it i mean translating it is um let me see if i can get a good translation uh no that ain't a good one I'm trying to see the training room has been asked before uh, sorry if y'all can hear the dog barking in the background, but the training room that I had asked before was a growling. Like I, I don't know. The translations is weird, but their discussion is about the training room. And so, um, sitting here looking at this, you know, I, I thought to myself, like, wow, they are really like legit mission about this training room that you're actually going to be able to use in game. I mean, to me, that says that this is something huge and it's huge. OK, so get into the gameplay or rather right here, we go to the next part of that. And he's basically telling them those are the three things that he needs, which I'll let you know what those are in English here in a second. And then, of course, this is the start of the mission to find stuff to repair the gravity room. And where go where Goku, where Vegeta's at right now is inside of that big capsule corp dome or whatever. So. He's going to go off and start the mission, and he or he's to find these three things, which I'm going to go over to the English version, and this is on Janemba 8000's channel, and these are the three things that he's looking for. A gravity crystal, dimensional lid, and an iron crest. Now, when I was watching that, I was like, wow, 
Like, I don't know, something just told me to go back and look at it. I mean, that might not sound like nothing on the surface, but guys, we are literally building the gravity room. Like, like to me, these are going to be actual features. Like, so basically, in my opinion, this is my speculation that we are going to be able to adjust the gravity of this particular room. That's what the gravity crystal is needed for so that we'll be able to change the gravity. The dimensional lead or lead, however you want to pronounce that. This is where it gets interesting, because in this gravity chamber, we know that we'll be able to have access to enemies in, or people in the game. And Banyu being one of that, that's what gave, gave us the insight that we'll be able to access Banyu's training. So the dimensional lead or lead would mean, it means, in my opinion, one of two things. Either number one, we'll be able to use that dimensional thing process to either pull uh, enemies from another dimension to fight and train against, or we go through a dimensional time warp in a sense, kind of like how Bobbity did on his spaceship where he changed the spaceship to a different area in a sense. And from there, we will be able to basically, it'll be like fighting in the wild. I mean, we'll be in the training room, but when we start a simulation or boot it up, will be teleported to the location of where that person is at to train against them. And it's all simulated, by the way. And so that way you're not fighting in a training room because they push. And I think that's the way that it's going to go because they push these fights to be boundaryless. And we know that that gravity room or, or that Vegeta trained in wasn't wasn't super large it wasn't all that big i mean it was big but it wasn't that big you see what i'm saying so i don't see fights taking place in there and that's potentially what that dimensional lead or lead is going to allow for the time machine dude so basically what i'm doing i'm looking at the materials that we need to find it and that's what it tells you uh here when you look at it it says find materials for the training room okay we're finding materials for the training room We'll be able to adjust the gravity and with the dimensional part, that's going to allow us to bring in other people to, in a sense, train against. And Iron Crest, I'm going to be honest, I don't I don't know what that's for. But those two would really jump out at me. And I was like, wow, I mean, those are the perfect ingredients. So now I'm looking at the gravity room in a different light now, whereas we have the training grounds. And if you look right here on the map, somebody said. Oh, well, the, the, the symbols probably changed in later development. No, this is the exact same gameplay. You have the logo here for the training grounds. The training grounds and the training room are two different things. And though this, and I know we talked about this yesterday, but seeing this right here, I saw this last night and I was like, dude. This is really dope. They actually are kind of giving us some insight on what we'll actually be able to do with the training room. So here is my picture of what we'll be able to do with the training room. OK, you will be able to adjust the gravity of the training room. And depending on the level of gravity in the room, that determines how tough the enemy is going to be that you're going to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't see us being able to do push-ups and sit-ups like, like a lot of people want it. And I would have liked to see that, too. They could have done that with some quick-time events. And, hey, maybe it's in there. Who knows? But, so, for example, say I'm fighting. I want to train against Frieza, okay? And through with the dimensional lead, that makes it possible for you to fight against people who's not actually there. Kind of like pulling their data through another dimension, in a sense. Kind of like Dr. Jarrell did. But... Say, you know, fighting against Raditz, I'm on like 10 times gravity. But against Frieza, it's like 100 times gravity or something like that. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to be able to, and this is all speculation, guys. You're going to be able to fight against enemies. And the level, the strength of gravity is reflected upon by the difficulty of the enemy. For example, like I said, for example, Raditz would probably be like a 10 times Earth gravity. Vegeta probably would be like a 50 times Earth gravity. Uh, Frieza would be like 100 times gravity. Y'all get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm thinking, dude. If they do it that way, that is so dope because it gives you a reflection of how tough that gravity is, how tough that battle is. Now, what we get for completing this, 
I don't know. That's interesting because we know that the training grounds are necessary for you to level up your super attacks. Now, it's very possible that the training room will more than likely probably just give you either experience points or I'm hoping that it gives you something, something beneficial like train experience points. The reason why is because I don't want it to be just some plain basic practice mode where you could just fight against different people and um and just be able to like kind of like a practice mode like in xenoverse like we saw the other day what i was doing i was just in practice mode fighting there's no uh risk versus reward to it you're just learning how to play the game in a sense so i hope that it is kind of like that where we are fighting we're learning how to play the game and stuff but at the same time I feel like they should go that route to, hey, make it to where we increase the gravity, gives us a tougher opponent, but there's a reward for it in like XP, Zors, possibly D medals and stuff like that. That would be so dope, man. If you think that'd be dope, let me know down in the comment section down below. So this is the logo for the training grounds. And if we go back to the, um, if we go back to the start, I don't know if they're going to show it here. I may have to go back to the other one. Yeah. So let me go back to the other one because he's not going to he's going to get into a fight here. Um, so this is the logo for the training room. And this is the capsule court building. This is the logo for the training room. And we know that this is the same gameplay because if we fast forward, bam, look at that. Training grounds, training room. Two different things. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.